Hey, this is the Secret Info Show on Jewish Hawk. Today, you'll be taking behind the scenes for updates and secret info on your favorite Jewish singers. This episode is super packed with secrets you won't hear anywhere else, so you definitely don't want to miss it. If you've been watching our show, you know Mordechai Shapiro is one of many singers that is scheduled to release an album very soon. There are a lot of questions surrounding the album. What will it be called? How many tracks will it feature? What date will it be released? And so on. We've decided it's time to give you our prediction. We predict Mordechai Shapiro's new album will be released sometime between this coming Sukkot and Hanukkah time, probably closer to Hanukkah. Behind the scenes videos of Morty working on the album should start coming out very soon. We also predict the album will have a total of 15 tracks like Morty's previous album did. And we also predict that of those 15, two will be both Eno Novato and Vihisha Amda, two singles Morty released in between his previous album and the coming one. The title track of the album will likely also be the first song on the album as well, and we predict that it will be a song 100% composed by Morty himself, and it will come out with a music video together at time of release. There is of course a ton of more information to come regarding this album, so subscribe below so you won't miss when we get more secret info on the album. Uri Navidi recently released a slow single called Ata Imadi, which is doing pretty well. The song is said to be another single before the release of Uri's third album. No confirmation on a third album was heard from Uri yet, but it does seem he will be releasing one soon. Ur Davidi is one of those singers in the Jewish music industry that really knows how to hit it off with songs and with music videos, so a new album from him would be really exciting. Benny Friedman recently released the music video for Harasha, the first and so far the only music video from his most recent album. Now, of course, music videos don't usually come out a year and a half after an album is released, but rumors are circulating that the delay was due to the obvious world events which prevented them from filming in Russia. After a year of waiting, the decision was made to film in Staten Island and design the set to look like Russia. At time of recording, Harasha has already hit 350,000 views in its first month alone, setting it on track to be Benny's second most successful music video ever behind every Anochi. Right now, the video is on track for an estimated 7 million views in the first two years, tied compared to the growing rate of Mordechai Shapiro's most popular music video, Hakomi Shamayim. Speaking of Mordechai Shapiro's music videos, Adol Movado recently hit 2 million views, putting it on track to be third or even second most successful music video of Mordechai Shapiro's behind Hakomi Shamayim, but still neck and neck with Machar. Nissan Black hit 50,000 subscribers on YouTube. That makes him the fifth Jewish American singer to reach that milestone. Avram Fried is growing really fast as well, and is on track to be the second Jewish American singer to hit 100,000 subscribers, probably within this coming year, followed by Benny Friedman, who is on track to hit 100,000 a few months later. Jakob Shrecki, the only Jewish American singer currently at that milestone, hit it earlier this year and received a 100,000 subscriber plaque from YouTube. Benny Friedman currently holds the record for the most viewed Jewish music video with Ifri Anochi sitting with just over 21 million views in just four years. That being said, Benny Friedman seems to be grabbing another similar record. Ayid, one of Benny's singles released earlier this year with a lyric video, has half a million views. While it may not seem like a lot, it does look like it might actually be the most viewed lyric video in Jewish music right now, but we haven't verified that yet. If you can think of any official lyric videos with more than half a million views, please let us know in the comments. Slow songs usually don't do as well. And even still, Ayid is one of Benny's most popular songs ever. That's amazing! Back in March, David Perlman released his debut album, Shir Shabalev. We also got a music video for song number 6 on the album, We Can't Thank You Enough, a project that was done together with the Thank You Hashem program. Right now the video is nearing 50,000 views, which is a huge milestone. David should be releasing a music video to the title track of the album, Shira Shabalev, which is expected to do even better. But at time of recording, we don't have any concrete information on the progress so far, or a release date, so for now we can only speculate. The closest we can give you is that the video will likely be released sometime in the next 2-3 to three months. Yaakov Shreki partnered up with Lipa Schmelzer to release a song called Saba Kadisha. The song was released on August 25th and is one of the many things Shreki has released in recent months. Shreki has been on somewhat of a splurge recently with releases as far as two music videos right before Pesach, followed by the new L'Chaim album after Pesach, a music video to a song on the album with Yavo Hayom, which is right nearing 150,000 views, and the lyric video and single, Fighter. Now another song? Sheesh. In a quote, Shweki said about Saba Kadisha, At a beautiful simcha, I heard this amazing song by a dear friend for many years, Lipa. The song was an emotional song with a message of teshuva that I truly connected to, and I hope you all enjoy it, end quote. With Shreki releasing new music and videos over and over again, left and right, it raises the question as to whether or not we will see an actual music video to one of the fast songs on Shreki's new album in the coming months. We think yes, but what do you think? Let us know in the comments. Eitan Gedalia released his debut album last week, entitled Geula. 
Right now, there isn't much information on it, but we will have to see where this takes him in the future. Shmuel Younger released a new music video of him singing Simcha, originally sung by Michal Schnitzler. The video was done together with Naftali Schnitzler and the Shira Choir. Speaking of Shmuel Younger and music videos, his Macha Bracha video has been doing insane, getting over 6.5 million views in just 3 years since his release, which raises the question, why hasn't he released a music video to any of the songs from his most recent album yet? Is one coming? We'll just have to see. If you've been following our posts and our news lately, you'll know that Yoni Z has been in the studio working on his second album. Well, guess what? Yoni Z is still in the studio working on his second album. Believe it or not, albums take months of work, and Yoni's is truly expected to be a top tier release. We don't have an estimated release date yet, so it can literally get released at any time. Yoni has a history of releases getting delayed. We all can't wait for the album, and when it does come out, the wait will definitely be well worth it. Look at this! Slimy Mazel Tov! Look at this desk! Woo! You're getting a real studio! You wanna shut I shut? You know who got him the beanbag? Is a gift for the studio. Back. You're welcome. Shlemy, we just got to the studio. Stop eating all your snacks now. I was always that kid on the school bus that eat all his snacks. <laughs> Before you made it to school, you were done. <laughs> then I snore from everyone. Can I then you would snore. Oh my god. Finally, Simcha Liner has released a take on the popular Bella Chow song and called it Bella Chai. The song has only 4,000 views in two weeks, which is kind of low for Simcha, but the low play count can't be attributed to the fact that it isn't really an original song, rather it's a bonus release from Simcha that was recorded privately in his own studio. To create the song, Simcha partnered up with Shua Sorcher. Simcha does have a new album coming out very soon, so subscribe for updates and behind the scenes on that. Next week on Jewish Hawk. If you just would taste it a little bit. <laughs> What's going on guys? This has been episode 7 in partnership with smile to media See you next week. Subscribe for Geschmack content.